Hey guys, how's it going? Do a quick little unboxing. Now, this is a uh, coin company I bought these from. I've actually done a, I don't know if I've done an unboxing on these, but maybe like a short on my YouTube channel. Um, these are gonna be pretty cool. Shipwreck silver, and I'm pretty excited. So they do come with a book. So here's the book. It's called The uh, Lost Gold of the Republic. Basically, this is the SS Republic, and then we have our coins. There should be four in here. I always get nervous about this stuff. But right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. Booyah. All right, let's start off. I'm going to pull out one coin at a time, and we're going to look at it because they're all different. SS Republic was lost at sea in the, I believe it was like, uh, let me check the first coin, actually, see what year that was. So this was 1858. Oh, so yeah, majority of the coins were lost at sea. I'd say uh, probably around the 1860-ish. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but um, they were recovered in like early 2000s by Odyssey, which primarily discovers a lot of coins. Uh, I want to say that the SS Garisopa Odyssey was involved with, SS Republic. So let's take a look at the coin. All right, front side looks sharp, guys. Now, these are the new labels from NGC. I absolutely love the blue. Check that out, very sharp. This actually front looks really nice. The back actually looks pretty clean. It's an O, 1858 O. I will say the blue really makes it pop. And then um, the one thing I really like too is the label up top, it's showing you the ship and everything. I have the old original label, I only have one. I did sell a couple. Uh, my plan with these is typically add one to the collection, sell a few, try to pay for the one, and you know, just keep the ball rolling, making money, and adding to the portfolio. But yeah, 1858-0, really happy with the way this coin looks. So this is the uh, Shipwreck Effect, SS Republic, that's one down. Oh. All right, 1858-0. Shipwreck effect. It's actually, they got some. I just noticed that this one didn't have any type of grade on it. This one has a grade of X aft. You know what, though? I'll say this, guys. Look, at, look here. Let's start with the front. The front looks good. I just noticed that. I thought they were all going to say, they, I didn't realize they were actually grading them now. Um, but if you take a look here, you'll see that basically these coins are individually graded on some of them now but you can see there's like this tarnish on the front because they sat at the ocean for i don't know over 100 years so and you see how when you sat there you get a little bit of that corrosion but even so it's like it's still a really pretty coin all right let's check the back out and hopefully you guys are seeing those pretty good but yeah, 1850 uh, XF, the grade is actually on this one. That's a shocker because before they would just say shipwreck effect, no grades. You basically, based off of your eye appeal, what you liked and what you would be willing to pay for it. But this one does not have a grade. That's interesting. I guess the XF, you know, it's funny. The XF does not look as nice as the other one. But I don't see anything that says like uncirculated or, you know, um, even a higher grade than XF. Next one. All right, we got ourselves another 1858-0. Wow. I'm going to say they're probably all 1858-0s at this point. Hopefully you guys are seeing those okay. Now, these are 50 cent pieces. So... All right, guys, that's three down. This one, it's got really good details on the back, the front a little bit. I think the one that actually, I think there's probably one, I would say, that uh, that one, very first one I pulled was probably the nicest so far as far as details go, but I'm going to look at them individually separately here in a minute. So, all right, 1858-0. Oh, so we got all 1858-0s, shipwreck effect, and Wow. Back looks really good. Here's the front. These coins, on average, guys, sell on eBay for three fifty. So they are quite expensive. 
Um, another reason why I'm going to try to sell a few, make a few bucks, and pay for one. And of course, you know, you got to build the collection somehow and do it on a budget. But overall, I will say this the back looks really sharp. Hopefully, you guys are getting good views. I saw some nice details on that one. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy. 1858. Oh, I got four. So I will try to maybe buy a couple more in the future if I can get get rid of these and make a little bit and go buy maybe one or two more. We'll see. But I wanted to share these with you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoyed them. And a little history in your hands. And uh, most importantly, you know, it's another option to, you know, silver is obviously a hedge against inflation, but it's one of those things to invest in rare coins because the appreciation on is there. There's money to be made. And I have uh, paper here with what I paid. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.